So I'm now here at my homemade uh, CNC and I got the new controller installed. So I want to show you and go through the menu of this uh, controller with the long name and I want to show you what I think I found out what is important and what is uh, really need to be changed so you not get into some trouble or, or damage some things. So before we go and take a look on the controller, I uh, also want to show you another thing and this is a 3D print I made from PLA and from this, we, in another video, I will show you how we can uh, automatically uh, zero out the X, Y and Z axis very easily. So let's get into it, let's go through the menu. To get to the menu, you need to push the page R button, which is this one. And you need to push, when you push it once, you will come to the to the USB stick, which I not have uh, inserted. And you push one more time, you can see here, parameter page. And there you are with all the goodies. So, there is two ways to scroll through this. There is no possibility to search, but if you use the, the y-axis up and down buttons, you can scroll down and scroll up. If you use the x plus and minus, you, you may in fact scroll one page. And the other way, exactly the same. So, the first thing I want you to be aware of is unit selections and in my case it is millimeters in other cases it could uh, cases it could be inches so very important and very different results and then you have the pulse units um, and they are different you can see mine are not really like 1600 and that's because i have calibrated my my cnc and this was the final results i got um, after my calibration, I calculated the new uh, pulse per, per unit. So that's of course some things you will, you will do. I have made a simple uh, G-code where I have a rectangle on 100 by 50 millimeters. In center of that, I make a 20 millimeters deep hole. And as you can see here, this was the first I made. It was really under half a size and uh, then I made this one and it became better it is still an oval here the third one is was this one and we really are getting very close and this one is the final one where the measurement is uh, acceptable so back to the menu and um, nothing to change more there when we have manual control, I made this x-axis to 4800 units per minute and it, it will be different from, from machine to machine. It depends on how fast your machine can run. Um, so you will have to test out that. Here is some interesting stuff. Um, and this is the acceleration in manual control and it was i think on 300 and if you run 4800 uh, or 6400 units uh, per, per minute then it's very fast so this one makes that it starts on 20 units per second and then it builds up so it's an acceleration mode and i will absolutely advise you to be around here as you can see here i'm on on my x-axis I am on 20, on the y-axis, uh, and my y-axis is very sensitive. So to get it up in speed it was better to be lower and then accelerate slower up and it works very well now for me. The z-axis I put on 10 and that's mainly because I do not want to, to hook down in, in my item and damage the tool and stuff so it, it slowly accelerates and then goes up to speed. 
A, a axis I don't have, so I haven't done anything there. Um, here I did manual control speed, nothing. I don't have that. And let's move down here. Uh, here the lifting uh, protection speed I put to 800 units per minute on the set axis and the same for dropping uh, the protection speed was also for uh, for um, 800. The G0 speed I entered in here. Well, I just need to stop myself and go back to this speed selection because uh, normally and standard it is uh, just saying default. But default means that it reads the speed settings that is in the controller. And this means all the feed rates you have in your in your G-code is not being recognized by the controller. So it is very important that you change this to one, uh, sorry, to, uh, to a G-code, because then it will read and run the machine from the feed rate that is calculated by your uh, uh, software. So, and now we can continue. Zero speed, I entered in here 1500. I could probably do it bigger, but I do, don't want to do. I'm not that in a hurry. Uh, the set safe high is if you, uh, as an example, stop or pause your G code, then it will move up 15 millimeter. See here? Okay. And here's nothing to do. We are working and this is where you can choose different coordinate systems. Uh, I have only one coordinate system I work in and that's a G54. I could maybe set up some, some other words, but uh, I have normally no need for it. Spindle speed, I don't have automatic spindle. That's how the commands. Uh, Nothing here to change. I ignore home uh, and I, I choose to have this to ignore home. I not all I don't use home home uh, switches. I have limit switches on and that's it. So I never go home and if you have this not have set this to ignore home every time you start up the DDCS it will ask you and you have to confirm if you want to go home or not and if you push it by accident and it goes home and you have no switches well it's not really funny then so i i here added this to to ignore home uh, that's a home speed uh, and here let me see. So here we come to the probe and I would advise you to set this to mode two because if you choose probing, then there is uh, matter in fact, three different uh, selections you can do only to probe on a set axis, to probe on one of the other axis or make a full automatic probe. And uh, normally it is in one, so you will only probe, uh, probe uh, the set axis. But I already entered it. Intel works position, here I use current position. And that is because I will place my probe, place my tool, and my new tool will do like that. Uh, that it will probe on a special area. And from that area, it doesn't matter where it goes out to the X or to the Y, there will be plenty of space for doing this automatically uh, 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 zero set of X, Y and Z. So current position is really good. Uh, back distance after probe, it uh, will lift five millimeters. This is the cutter diameter. Mm, I think I have to enter this in both places. And this is the thickness of the plate I have used uh, only for set and that was 19.1 millimeters and uh, 
in here it will be different uh, when I have made in the next coming days my new probe things. This is the distance it will uh, go on the x-axis in the negative direction. That means to the left. And that's 20 millimeters. Then if it's a y-axis it's 20 millimeters there as well. Then my set axis will go down 5 millimeters and from there it will start to probe. And it will probe the x and the y-axis until it makes get contact. Something about back distance. Here is my X and Y is enabled. All these others are disabled. And my set plus also I have a limit switch on and that's really convenient because you, you really don't uh, damage anything. Then software limits I don't have, I don't use. And here is the MPG. And on the MPG, I, it's of course you need to enable it here, if you have an MPG. The interface type just needs to be standard, MPG pre precision, you can set it on 1000, mine is not that accurate, but 100 is really good enough for me. Um, and on line 448, this was for me quite important because in standard it is set to open. And that means if you use your MPG and you, oops, and you turn and turn and turn and turn and you stop, it will remember all your turns and continue moving. So I set this to closed and that is a zero oh that was a now it's closed and this means when you turn the wheel on the mpg and you stop turning it it doesn't send pulses anymore to the stepper motor so it stops immediately and that is much more convenient for me so that's, uh, I would advise that as well, because you will be surprised if we can run long after in the direction uh, before it stops. Uh, I use the e-stop as well on the, on the MP, uh, MPG, so uh, it's there. Then you have the function keys, you can uh, define an extra star button start button, pause button, and so on. I don't see really a need for it. Not on my machine. Uh, here is some tool offsets. I haven't found out how it is working right now, but uh, I will come back to that. Um, here is nothing to change. I didn't change anything here myself. So this is what I did set up in the menu and for me it works very perfectly.